Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. Today I want to talk with you about how you can use Microsoft Graph to delete files, whether you want to permanently delete them or move them into the recycle bin, and how you can use Microsoft Graph to browse the content of the recycle bin of a target site collection. With Microsoft Graph, nowadays, it is only possible to restore a file that was deleted from the personal OneDrive uh, storage. So, in case you want to restore a file that you deleted with Microsoft Graph, you will need to rely on the SharePoint REST APIs or the SharePoint CISOM APIs or eventually on the PMP Core SDK library, which internally relies on SharePoint REST APIs as well. So, let me move to the new environment and let me show you how you can manage deleted files with Microsoft Graph. So, let's make the assumption that we have a bunch of files stored in a document library in SharePoint Online or stored in a folder in OneDrive for Business. And we want to get those files, delete eventually permanently those files, and if we don't delete them permanently, we want to see them in the recycle bin. So, let's start with SharePoint Online and let's play with the Graph Explorer. First of all, we need to get a reference to the target site collection that we want to use, so the one that I'm uh, storing the files in, this one. So, I can get the ID of this site collection and through the size and point, I can get the drive root to get the root folder, so the shared documents of that site collection. In there, I can play with the children that I have uh, in this folder. So let me query children and here I can get all of the items. So for example, this one will be the sample file 01 or the other one will be the sample file 02 with this specific ID. So now I can make a query for those specific items and I can say that I want to get, for example, the very first one. So let me use the following query to get a reference to this one. And I can delete it simply by using the delete action, the delete HTTP method to delete this file and put it in the recycle bin. And in fact, if we go to the recycle bin now, we will find our file together with some other files that I deleted before. Now, if we want, uh, we can also delete uh, the sample file 02, but right now, for example, I want to delete it permanently. So, I can get a reference to the file by making a GET request, and here it is. And I can make a POST request uh, invoking the permanent delete uh, functionality or endpoint. So, permanent delete is the endpoint to invoke. Now I have permanently deleted the file and in fact if I go to the recycle bin I don't see the file but if I go to documents I don't see the file either because it got deleted. Now if I want to look into the recycle bin of this uh, library I can simply use the slash recycle bin slash items and point of the site collection so I can go here and replace the drive URL with recycle bin slash items and we can get the list of all of the items in the recycle bin and we can see the files that I showed you before. Now, we can do the same with the OneDrive for business storage. So, I can make a get first of all for the children item of my OneDrive. In there, I will be able to find the folder where I am, which is the demo files folder. So, let me search for it. And actually, once I will have found it, uh, let me search for demo, which is easier. Demo files. Here we are. I can get the ID of that folder and I can make a specific query for the children of that folder. So let me do that by ID and I can get back all of the files. And again, I see my sample files in that folder. I can get the ID of one of those specific files, like for example, the very first one. Let me do that. So I will query my drive for that specific item with that ID. This is the sample file 01. And again, I can make a delete for that file and it will go into the recycle bin. I can now make a query for another item that I have in that drive. This one, for example, which will be the sample file 02. And instead of making a delete request, I will again make a post request and I will invoke the permanent delete action like we did before. So let me do that and I've got the file permanently deleted. 
And now, if I will go back to my OneDrive folder, OneDrive for Business folder, I can see that I don't have any more the item 01 and 02, but if I will go to the recycle bin, just the item 01 is there because the 02 was, again, permanently deleted. If I want to get the recycle bin of the folder that I have in my OneDrive for Business, I have to do a little bit more of tricks. In fact, the site collection for my OneDrive, as you can see here, is under the name of my tenant my.sharepoint.com and this is the relative URL of the site. So when I want to get the ID of the site, I need to write a query for uh, Microsoft like the following one, slash site, the tenant, which will be the one with the dash my, and then the relative URL of the site. If I will do that, I will get the unique ID of my uh, site collection for OneDrive for Business. And so I can still use the site endpoint providing that specific ID to get a reference to the site. We can add the slash recycle bin slash items at the end of the URL of the site and we need to switch to the beta endpoint of Microsoft Graph because the recycle bin nowadays is available only in the beta endpoint. By doing that I can get all of the items and again I can see the document available in the recycle bin. And eventually, as I said, using the PMP Core SDK or the REST APIs of SharePoint or the Season library of SharePoint we can restore those files. Like always, thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.